can't uh, excrete, you can't clear. So if you can't eat, you can't process, you can't excrete, then you can't process material around you. you. You can't develop anything more than simple, very, very simple life. So digestion was the key and the template model was the worm. Have you ever looked at the intestine? Have you ever seen those models when they roll out an intestine? It looks like a giant worm. Why? Because it is, in fact, based on the template of a giant worm. That is your first brain. That is the first template of life built inside of you. That is the brain that's connected to all simple matter, whether it be fungus, bacteria, worms, all of these. So when people say to you, you should focus on your heart as the center of your consciousness, no. As Chinese doctors knew years and years and years ago, when you are trying to establish a balance in your life, your balance should be on a constant focus of your intestine. And guess what? The intestine is where people source their intuition, their instinct. You heard the saying, a gut feel. If you want to remain authentic and grounded, if you want to remain true, centered, it's a realization that your first brain that you need to pay attention to and respect to is your large intestine and small intestines. That is your cytoneural system that they don't want you to know. I said you've got three brains. That's the first. The second, what's the second? Well, the second is called the orgoneural system. And it's also called the autonomic nervous system. So not am I able to describe these, but I'm actually describing to you the fact that science already recognizes that you have independent nervous systems in your body. They just won't allow these things to be connected. They won't allow you to understand who you are. You've got to stay in the dark, divided, confused, fearful. So the orgo system is the second system. And the second system, the orgo system, represents uh, the cellular colonies of the body associated with the cerebellum. And the cerebellum, the spinal column, and the, uh, and the uh, organs. And this system is based on the development of level four life. Level four life, uh, insects and mollusks, uh, another flowering trees, another simple life. So the simplest model of uh, independent moving level um, uh, four simple life is the insect. And if you go and have a look at the model of an ant, what you see is that its entire uh, rear is the model of the worm, the digestive system, and then all the rest of it that is sprouted off that is the level four system, the second brain, the orgo system. Now, the orgo system actually has more neurons than your cere cerebrum. The cerebellum has far more neurons than the cerebrum, something in the realm of 80 billion, of which 60 billion are multipolar and about 20 billion uh, uh, ultrapolar so those 60 billion support those 20 billion and if you look at the model of the orgo system we see that a uh, insect has compound eyes it has um, senses it has a simplified brain uh, it has tubes and connections it has a hard body. It has all these elements. And you're about to see in a moment uh, how that is reflected in ourselves. The third system, the one that we're most aware of, is the cognose system. Before we get to the cognose system, I mentioned to you that we ignore the fact that our intestines is our first brain and we ignore our second brain but we almost always tend to remember our third our youngest our most juvenile brain our, our cognobrain 
When you look at any kind of medical diagram of the brain stem and the cerebrum, sorry, cerebellum, the thing that it should strike you when you view it is how alien it looks. If you were designing this from scratch, you wouldn't design a system this way. And the reason it looks so alien is nature is brilliant at conserving. Remember I said to you, the thing that nature hates is waste. The thing that nature hates the most is waste of knowledge. Once nature perfected the model of the insect as the perfect dual model of two neural systems, why would it throw away the template of an ant? It didn't. The crazy concept to think about when you look at the orgo system is that whole system really was a, a modification of creating your bones, of creating the brain stem. The orgo system is really the extension of, of, of a template model inside of you of an insect. Your orgo system is like the template of a giant insect. And in fact, the compound eyes of the insect now has become your internal vision system, the thalamus, that no longer has the compound vision. Those neurons have been changed in their reception, but those receptors for light uh, have now been concentrated on a gland between those two called the pineal gland that actually has photoreceptors, light receptors. But your left and right thalamus, your left and right internal eye, your inner sight, is part of your orgo system. And then, of course, we have the cognoneural system on top, made up of about 60 um, uh, billion neurons, of which 36 are neuroglia and 12 billion. When you think a thought, what makes a cerebrum incredible is when you think a thought, the neuroglia actually change their positions. They rally around and change their design. When you think of deep memory, your brain actually changes. When you learn to make sense of things, your brain changes. When you're taught a mind virus, your brain changes. What a mind virus does is it isolates information. It deliberately seeks to create contradictory information. It prevents the brain from making connections between itself and other things. It isolates the brain. It causes parts of the brain to atrophy. That is the purpose of a mind virus. But there are antidotes to a mind virus. Eukadia is an antidote to mind viruses because it makes these connections. As complicated as your neural system is, your mind is, you have the opportunity to see here how these things evolved and why life evolved to being this. This is the freedom of seeing things and realizing that when you think thoughts, your cerebrum actually changes, physically changes in the position of neuroglia and then the creation of those neurons. Yes, neurons don't replicate. They can't because the axon, microtubules, is designed not to replicate. But neuroglia do undertake mitosis all the time. Now I'll share another insight to you. If in fact this is true and that the template of brains is the body of a worm, then when we look at the different brains, they should all look like the folding and enfolding of worms. Well, do they? The intestine does. The cerebellum does. And sure as eggs, the cerebrum does. But another challenge is, where is the waste disposal system? Remember I said to you, it's about processing uh, food was the original model before it became processing of knowledge. So in the cytosystem, the intestine, that's easy. But what about the orgo system? Well, guess what? That's exactly the model of the spinal column. 
the spinal, the central canal. Yes, it's been specialised and it now has other roles, but that's its original purpose. And what about the cognose system that controls all voluntary movement? Remember, the ruling elite want you to believe that your mind starts at your neck and goes up and that's it, and that the rest is a body. But when you look at the cognose system controlling all voluntary movement, and what I'm about to say, you'll realize what is your mind. Because the digestive uh, system that is extended for the cognome mind is the lymphatic system. That's its original purpose. It is the disposal system of toxins and waste from the cognose system. And the cognose system is your entire body. And in fact, the lymph, the lymph nodes of the cognose system are in the highest concentration in mirroring exactly the colon because it is through the lymph nodes around the edge of the colon, through the wall of the colon, that the cognose system connects to the ancient brain. So think about this. When you are thinking negative thoughts, when you are thinking hate, when you're thinking fear, is it possible you're also creating a waste product that reflects that? Now you've heard that stress kills. They say it is. Would it make sense that if stress can kill us, that not only can it raise our blood temperature, not only can it cause us to be in a great deal of distress, but what about if stress in itself produces a byproduct that affects the disposal system that is now used by the body also to fight infection, our immune system, our lymphatic system, what if our brain produces a product that is noxious and that affects our lymphatic system, our lymph nodes? So here, when we speak about cognitive, we don't only talk about what our mind is, but our body is how our mind and our body are connected, who we are, how we're made, how we're united. I, I hope in what I've shared with you that you will explore these, that you will look through these, and I hope that it will help you in understanding who and what you are. So that no matter what you're facing, even if it might be frustrating to you that things are taking a long time with Acadia, that this helps you, helps settle your mind, Now, the other thing I want to mention just before I, I finish and, and look forward to taking questions from you, and that is that just as these dates are coming, just as these canons are coming, it's also important that UKD websites evolve uh, in respect to what they do. And the purpose of One Heaven and the site of One Heaven was never to be a portal for legal information. So the information that you see on the home page of One Heaven must migrate to its appropriate home. And its appropriate home is to get this material into a better order on the legal sites, sites such as One Heaven Court, Globe Union Court, America's Union Court, Oceanic Union Court, and so on. And on these sites is where practical information on forms, construction, on uh, assistance needs to be located and one heaven more appropriately needs to focus yes on the canons but also on the deeper issues of registering those that we love who have departed on our own registrations and information so over time over the next few weeks you'll see that I just want to give you a heads up that over the next few weeks that information will be migrating to a more appropriate position well thank you uh, we did cover a lot We'll try and cover a lot on these calls. I know that it, it covered a, a wide range of subjects, but I hope again, when you listen to these calls, that you do get something out of them. That's why I do them. And above all, I thank you. I thank you for listening. I thank you for being part. I thank you for your support. I look forward to answering your questions. Thanks very much. Great, thank you, Frank. Um, 
real quick as a reminder to everyone, uh, we do not give out legal advice. Uh, this is all for 